All right, guys, we've got a little zen spot here to do some painting. <laughs> WR500 subframe. Now, you might be wondering why there's an extra piece hanging here. That's because the WR500 actually has a removable piece on the subframes, actually a two-piece subframe. And interesting of note, that bike is the only big bore that Yamaha made that actually has a removable subframe. The YZ490 did not. And I don't know if the YZ250s had the same removable subframe, but it's pretty cool. You actually have a subframe and then you have another piece that's one of these uh, cross members here. So I have got them set up with some wire and we're gonna just start with a little bit of a primer, but uh, I'm doing this video mostly out of my own pride because I did a really, really good job <laughs> stripping off all of the paint. I just wanted to show y'all how nice these actually look when they are just solid steel and um, or plain steel. And yeah, the welds, man, the welds look really good. Yamaha did a nice job on these welds. So before they get all doused with paint here, I wanted to keep this moment for posterity. And honestly, if it was a KX500 or something like that, I, man, I'd be very tempted to just clear coat them and uh, leave them like this because they just look really, really nice. Uh, very nice. Even got some discoloration here. Um, I'm also doing this video real quick just so I can be sure to remember which bolts go where because I'm going to wind up pulling these off in a second when I start putting the primer on. So anyways, that's about it. Very solid construction on the part of the Yamaha folks. Looks really good and we'll get to base The clear no paint subframe is now done. We've got primer. We've got some paint plus primer on top of that. And then once these guys dry, they're going to go in the garage in a safe spot until I'm ready to do the clear coat with hardener. So it worked out pretty good. Even the secondary piece of the subframe is ready to go. And one of the things I like to do is always pay close attention to those spots that are going to actually show. So, you know, this area here is going to show because that's really the only part of this you're going to see on the bike when it's done because this is the subframe piece that comes off the main frame. Uh, so that's about where your boot's going to be. So yeah, we're doing good and uh, that's it. That is the WR500 paint subframe job. Now what I did as well when I was done, I looked for any drip marks, any areas that were uneven and with my 400 grit sandpaper right there, sanded everything down, got it really smooth and nice and uh, I think we are ready to go. And if I see anything else, you know, I'll sand that down one last time and then put another coat it's not a it's not a job you want to rush you want to just take it easy and slow and do the best job you can and if you do i promise it's going to work out really good thanks for watching everyone we'll be here in the next update